The reason some of us really can't succeed how we want to succeed because of our programming. We, we have a program that doesn't align with what we really want to do. Like we have, we have a, a programming in our, in our wiring and our subconscious mind that does not align with what we want to do and the vision that we see. Because you can see something, but subconsciously you don't believe it, right? I could see that I'm very successful, I'm very wealthy, and subconsciously I really don't believe that, right? And let me tell you why. Because of my programming. Subconsciously I don't believe that. Now I'm working on that. I know what's there. I know what I've been told. I know what's been, been prophesied to me. And I know what I see in my vision, but subconsciously, I am working on reprogramming my mind. A lot of us have to reprogram our mind and you do that by reading God's word. You have to reprogram your mind and you have to believe who God says you are. You have to put a different wiring to seek down in your subconscious mind and some of us it's going to take longer than others depending on what we are feeding our subconscious mind right we have to listen to something over and over and over so it can reprogram our mind because subconsciously we've been programmed not to believe in ourselves in the way that we see ourselves because there is a difference. That's why some of you are, you know you want to do better. You know you should be doing better. You see yourself as, as successful, but you just can't bring yourself to do it. It takes a lot of unlearning, a lot of reprogramming. You have to read, you have to listen to motivational um, um podcast you have to read the word you have to read books you have to journal right say you're at, it's a lot you have to do to get your mind to align with your vision i said i i, I just spoke a whole sermon right there y'all should pass the collection plate that was an entire sermon okay we have to do so much to get our subconscious mind to align with what we and what we see and i know that I'm not where I used to be. And I know that um, I'm almost on the cusp, okay? Because I've been doing a lot of work. I'm almost there, but it's still things that I have to unlearn. It's still things I have to break. And some of you are almost there. Don't give up. Some of you, some of you are almost there. You're on the cusp. You can feel it. It's like, unfortunately, it's like you're getting ready to have a sour belch. You ever had a sour belch and, you know, you have a little bit of um, vomit that comes up <laughs> with the sour belch? That's the first thing that came to mind. So that's my explanation. I don't mean to gross anyone out. But you know how sometimes you have a sour belch and you can feel that food about to come up? You, you know you're about to vomit up something. That's where you are. You are on the cusp. I'm sorry I had to use that example, but this is just off the cuff. This is no rehearsed message. Um, you're on the cusp of your breakthrough. And this is how you know you're on the cusp of it. Your, 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 your mind is getting ready to be reprogrammed because your mind is trying to pull you back to old ways, old people, old thinking. It's trying to pull you back and you want to go forward, but now your mind wants to pull you back. Your mind, your subconscious mind is, is communicating with old friends, old relationships, old habits, old thoughts, old, you know, old things you have broke free from. Right now you're in a good space. You're happy. You're, you feel whole and complete, but you still haven't grasped. You still haven't grabbed, grabbed a hold of the success, the vision that you have. You're almost there, but you haven't grabbed it yet. That means that your mind is trying to fight you and pull you back. You have to keep fighting. 
Keep listening. Keep getting up, doing your devotions. Keep praying because it takes a lot to um, um, unprogram, deprogram your wiring. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to deprogram because the program that you're operating on you think it's right and it's not right it's not giving you the results you want it's not giving you the life you want it's not giving you the health you want it's not giving you the friends and relationships that you want so that program is faulty you have to unlearn things and when you unlearn and unprogram um your mind is you're going to go through like a you're going to go through a, a cleansing like an isolation you're going to be by yourself for a little bit because your mind is trying to connect you to the right people who need to be in your life your mind is 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 um rejecting those who need to leave your life right and it trying it's trying to create a new system a new way to operate okay that's why we can't be success you know successful I'm not just saying you, I'm talking about myself too.